Uh, Chris, uh, another uh, couple of uh, athletes here in the lineup. Who have we got going for gold? Uh, we've got uh, Lisa Barbelin from France uh, against Gabby Schlusser, uh, Mike's uh, wife, who, who won the first Invitational in Volen uh, one month ago as well, going for a second consecutive victory here in Lausanne. She had, a, she had an easy win in Volen, a 6-0, wasn't really tested. Um, judging by the score that Lisa shot, more than 590 in the ranking round, I'm sure she'll have a much tougher test here today. Well, let's straight to the line. It's time for set number one. So Lisa Barbelin, the 20-year-old from France, will get this gold medal match underway. A slightly different uh, scoring format if you're not uh, used to this. Recurve is a set system. Still three rows per archer per set. As Gabby already making adjustments to her sight. Further adjustment there, both going out to the left for Gabby Schlusser. Big opportunity for the points here for Barmelat. And it's a great start. 13 will confirm the two set points for Lisa. As we wait for uh, Gabby's third and final arrow, which she will shoot. Slight technical delay there. And this one really is just about preparation for the second set. Well, she's corrected things up. Gets a 10, just going out to the right. But the first two set points uh, go to Elisa Barbalan. A cracking start from the 20-year-old, Chris. Uh, fantastic. And as I said, she shot a really, really good ranking round, 591 uh, this morning in Lausanne. Uh, she, she was invited to, to this event because she, she ranked fifth over the first stage. Uh, she didn't shoot quite, quite that high in, in November. 591 is a really, really great score. Getting above 590 at the 18 meter 60 hour rounds, very, very respectable. Gabby, though, a fantastic match shooter. In the semi finals, she beat Olympic silver medalist Lisa Unruh in a shoot off with a better nine. So she's got the tools to come back in this one. Yeah, she certainly has, uh, but she's going to have to get on her marks pretty quick. It's time for set number two. So the 26-year-old Dutch archer, Gabby Schlusser, is trying to emulate her husband taking gold here in Lausanne, but she trails by two set points to zero. Well, that one's drifted uh, out to the right. It has been marked as a nine. Now it's adjustment time for Lisa. Gabby had to make some adjustments in the first set. And uh, they have worked out for her in the second. That uh, looks like a 30 to me and uh, leveling the scores here. And now it's Lisa's turn to use her third arrow to get ready for the next set. That's just out to the right-hand side of the 10 ring and it has been marked provisionally as a nine but even if it gets marked up it's not enough and uh, Chris as you said uh, Gabby more than capable of coming back into this one yeah fantastic 30 in the second set to level things up uh, set system is such a
fantastic uh, way to compete because you can forget those first three arrows once they're gone and move on to the next. Now it's Lisa's turn to forget what she did in the second set. They're all level, four set points left to win to take the victory in the match. And it could go either way. Yeah, it certainly could. And it looks like uh, we're almost ready to get back underway. All square after the first two sets. Uh, both archers making some adjustments through the first two sets. Let's see what set number three has to hold. So we will switch back to uh, Lisa on target number one. To get this set underway. Back into the ten rings, what she needs. Well, perfect so far from the pair of them. There's nothing between them at all. Can't either eke out both set points here with this final arrow. Big opportunity now for Gabby Schlusser. Perhaps the pressure there getting to the 20-year-old. Diving out into the eight ring, and it is a perfect 30. What a response from Gabby Schlitter coming from two set points behind to lead 4-2 after three. Yeah, you can see Gabby give a big sigh as she walks off the line there. Uh, really firm, really controlling set there. Lisa, fantastic tens, but it's easy to get sucked in when these archers are, are hitting tens all the time because it's not that difficult to miss. She sent that eight right with the third arrow, and, and that's what gave Gabby the opening to, to, to take a big lead in this one. Yeah, you could feel the pressure uh, on Lisa Barbalan there. She, she had a chance there to put down a 10 and really put some pressure on Schlissa, but actually it turned back in on her, and now uh, she could be out of this in just one more set. Can Schlissa do it in the fourth? So Lisa Barbala on target number one. To your right, will shoot first. She's trailing by two set points. Good start and good recovery after that eight in the last set. Slightly longer hold and it's a nine. For Gabby, opportunity again for Lisa. Can she hold her nerve? Smooth process there, another 10. So still trailing by a single point after two there, Gabby. Lisa can steal these points with a perfect 30. And she has got that third 10, and it is a perfect 30. By my reckoning, Gabby Schlisser can only get 29 here, so we'll be all square again. It is a 29, and it's four apiece after four. Chris, a uh, brilliant match, turned uh, a couple of times. Yeah, you use the word steal the set points there. I say claim the set points. That last arrow of the set from Lisa Barbara, fantastic, right down the middle. She won those fair and square. 4-4. Uh, four, four. We're all back to zero. Three arrows to decide this final. Obviously, if, if they're tied on these three arrows, we'll go to a single arrow shoot-off. Yeah, interesting that uh, the change from that uh, 
this young French archer from set number three into set number four. When she was on for a 30 in set number three, she dropped two points with her final arrow there in the fourth, turned it around to get the 30 and draw everything a level. Four apiece as we go in to the fifth set. So Lisa Barbalan will shoot again. Just trying to contain herself here. Dropping into the nine. Matched though by Gabby. And that's a 10, so the pressure does switch over now to target number two. It's got a little bit of a wobble going on there for Gabby Schlesser in hold. And here, it's a big opportunity for the gold medal here in Lausanne for Lisa Barbala. And she has got it into the 10. So that is a 29 from her. Uh, subject to any kind of measure, a very fast arrow there from Gabby Schluss. It is a 29 for her. And Lisa Barbala, the 20-year-old from France, has taken the gold here in Lausanne. Left-handed archer Lisa Barbalan. There's a famous left-handed archer from France called Sebastian Flute, who won the Olympic Games in 1992. Not to tempt fate, but the next uh, Olympic Games after Tokyo next year, of course, are taking uh, place in Paris. Perfect time for the emergence of a fantastic young left-handed archer from France. But she shot so well in that one, claimed it when necessary. A little shake from the front arm of Gabby Schlusser on that second arrow of the last set, and it just opened the door. Uh, and she, she walks straight through it. Brilliant performance. Lisa Barbalant takes this invitational recurve women's gold. A fabulous match. Gary Schlisser with the silver. And Chris, this one really did swing around. Barbalant taking the early lead. Schlisser uh, coming back and then taking the lead herself, only for Barbalant to come back at her and tie things up and take it into that remarkable uh, fifth set. <laughs> 